Hey, we back. I'm here once again with Karuta, and we're going back to our roots, you could say, today, because as someone on Discord pointed out, namely Namta, hi Namta, um, my original, like, introduction to Karuta video was made pretty much as I was learning the bot, and while I'm pretty sure everything that's in there is accurate, um, at least everything that's factually based is accurate um, because I tried to make sure that I knew what I was talking about before I started making the video. Um, it is true that I know a fair bit more about Karuta now. It's been a few months um, and I think that he's right in the sense that I could probably make a better video. And so that's what we're here today. We're trying to introduce Karuta uh, more concisely, I suppose, and hopefully more helpfully for new players. So if you are new, welcome. Hi, this is Karuta. It's a card collecting bot and we're going to go over J generally how you can get started using it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is basically have a look at your drop and your grab. Um, you can have a look at KCD, which is short for K cooldown, and it's going to tell you that you have a grab and that you have a drop. A grab is like claiming a card, well, you know, grabbing a card, uh, and this will give you the card. You have it now, it's in your collection. Drop is putting some card down that can be grabbed. So as a demonstration, I will do a drop here, which is KD, which is short for K drop. And it's going to give me three cards here. Uh, I can pick one of them using the buttons below, and it will then say I've grabbed it, and it's gone into my collection. Each card has a card code, which is a unique identifier to that, co uh, that card. It has no relation to its name or its anime or anything like that. And then this says it's in excellent condition. You can get ones in varying conditions from uh, damaged all the way up to mint condition. Obviously mint condition cards are generally better um, but we'll get to that later. They look nice so that's basically the bottom line. Uh, so yeah that's dr dropping cards that that's all there is to it you now have a card congrats um, let's have a look at the card that we just got we can use kv to have a look at the card that's short for k view it's going to say it's owned by me uh, by default it will put the card that you just got grabbed in there uh, but if i wanted to view a different card i would use its card code i would just do kv and then the card code uh, so here it'll say the card code it'll say excellent which is three stars out of four mint condition would be four stars so that would be a bit better uh, it's going to say the print number print number doesn't mean a whole lot um, lower print numbers are generally better uh, but basically this just means this is the forty thousandth odd uh natalia gren north that has ever existed on on the whole of the bot globally. Uh, now, forty thousand is quite a high number. Obviously, there's 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 quite a lot of them around. This is why I say low numbers are best because if you get the first one ever, that's quite a nice flex. This little one here is the addition. This just determines which picture is shown, and it, it shows the outline border here as well. Um, if we can have a look, I've got the black market up here, which is just where you buy cards. We're not going to be paying too much attention to this in this video, but you can see it's got the uh, the print numbers and the additions written down here of all the different cards. And you can kind of see that these addition one cards here with this little addition one number have this kind of border. This as death does as well, and this Zorro. Uh, these addition two ones these are kind of more yellowy and they've got this kind of border and these addition three ones are uh, well they've got these kind of spiky bits around the edge and the pictures are slightly different as well there were four total additions we have no no addition four ones here but yep uh, the addition four ones are the most recent ones as of making this video maybe there'll be some more additions coming out later and generally, the higher the edition, the better. So edition 4 is probably better than edition 1. The lower the print number, the better. Print number 1 is much better than print number 40,000. So that's what all the numbers mean. That's all the information on your card. You don't have to pay too much attention to it, especially when we get a character like this. You might want to burn the character, in fact, to get some currency. But we'll, we'll talk about that later. Um... Now, I mentioned that uh, we have the KCD command to see if you have your drop and your grab. You can see here that it'll say how long it's left before my drop and my grab. And you can tell that the grab cooldown total is 10 minutes. The drop cooldown is 
30 minutes. This means you can actually grab stuff more often than you can drop it. Uh, this is so that you can grab stuff off other people's drops, and sometimes the bot itself will drop some cards as well, and you can grab those ones as well if you want. Grab anything that goes past. Now the person that dropped the cards originally has priority over taking the cards that they dropped if they want them, uh, but if they don't want them you can grab them easy and it's your card, it's all good. So keep an eye on those cooldowns. Uh, now what if you want to make your cards look nice? I showed you the black market here and said about these little frames around the edge. You might notice that the violet and the toru here have some pretty fancy looking frames, and yet they're still edition 1 and 2. What's up with that? Well, you can add some pretty nice cosmetics onto your cards, like fancy frames, you can also dye them to make them different colours, you can morph them to make different colours. We're not going to go into too much on how to do all of that. If you are interested, then there will be videos in in a playlist that I will link in the description. But yes, you can do all of these things to your cards and customize them to your fullest ability. In fact, if you really want to go all out, you can actually sketch over the picture itself to draw something else there. So you can make the card look however you want it to look, which is pretty amazing. And if you want to collect all of your favorite characters, get some nice pictures, get some nice frames, then that is basically what Karuta is all about. Grabbing all your, all your favorite characters and making them look nice, putting them up for display. Um, um, I'm not going to explain how to do albums in this video. I've made a video on albums before, but albums, for instance, is a nice way to display your cards. You can see this is some of my cards here. Put a nice background on the album, and I've got a bunch of my favorite cards here that I will display. I need to get some frames and some dyes on them, obviously, as you can tell. But we got some nice colors here, like on the now, some nice blue, which is pretty nice. So there you go, making your cards look lovely. As for all of your cards, you might be wondering, how, how do I see all my cards? Where, all, where are they? Well, we've got KC, which is short for K Collection, and that will show you all the cards in your collection. So this is all the cards here. I have 962 cards total, um, and it'll say all the information that we've gone over already. We've got the card codes, we've got the quality, so this one's excellent. This one is good quality because it's two stars. We've got all the print numbers here. You can see this one is particularly low, so this one's pretty nice. Um, and then we've got the additions here. Uh, there's an edition 4 one, so that one's pretty good. Um, edition 1, 40,000 print, not as good. Uh, we've got the anime titles here, and then the character names here. So there's all your information. We've got the buttons here. You can click through and find anything you want. There is also some filters you can put on this. So, for example, if I wanted to search for, I don't know, characters from Steins Gate, I could do... Uh, series equals Steinsgate, send that one and that will show all my characters from Steinsgate. There's a lot of different ways to sort all of these cards, which is pretty cool. Um, I will leave it down to you to uh, discover all of those. You can find them pretty easily in the help menus, I think. Um, and also, I believe I've made a video on them before too, so that should be pretty good if you get a lot of cards and you want to sort through them. You might not get the cards that you want immediately though, so there is also trading. Trading you can do with the KMT command. I'm going to put K help and then MT just to show that because I don't have a partner to demonstrate trading with right now. Uh, but yes, this is K multi trade, which is generally what's used as the trade command. Um, and in here you can trade any cards, you can trade any currencies, so you can buy stuff, you can sell stuff, all that good stuff. Um, and any cards that you want, uh, you can buy off other people trade off other people as long as everyone's happy with the deals, which is pretty nice. Uh, you can trade anything in the bot, however you need a license to do it. You can buy a trade license in the K shop, which is this command here. Uh, there you go. And this is going to cost you some gold. Gold is a currency. With gold you can buy a trade license, this lasts forever, um, and as it says, will allow you to trade certain items with other players. But how do you get the gold in the first place? Well, you get the gold via burning cards. I mentioned burning cards earlier. So if we do KB, which is the burn command, B obviously short for burn, uh, this is going to burn this last card that I got. Again, it defaults to the most recent card that I grabbed. If you want to burn a different card, you'll need to put its card code here. Uh, but when you burn this card, 
card. Uh, this card is now gone. It's no longer in your collection. In fact, it no longer exists at all. Uh, notably, the print number here, 40,122 of this character is never going to exist again. Uh, this probably doesn't matter with this card since I doubt anyone wants it. And in return, I'm going to get some gold and some dust. We're not going to be talking about dust in this video, but it is another currency that can be used for various other things. Gold is one of the currencies that is used in the shop, as you can see here. And if we burn this card, you can see uh, the card has been burnt. And if I go onto my collection now, it's no longer at the top. Uh, this is organized in date order of when you got the card. So the most recent one will be at the top. And the most recent one is now this one here. So there you go. There's some other currencies in the bot. For example, tickets. You get tickets through voting for the bot, which is K-Vote. Um, and also tickets are generally the accepted trading currency for cards. If you want to buy some cards, you're probably going to pay in tickets. Uh, another common currency used for uh, trading is gems, which is the premium currency. If I do K gems, you can see that they are actually bought with real money um, and they can also be used to trade cards. Um, but both tickets and gems have their own varying uses as well. But again, I won't go into this video. I'm trying to keep it short. Um, I would advise if you want any more information on anything I'm talking about, just check out the playlist that will be in the description. Uh, but yes, tickets and gems are both pretty good currencies. Uh, you're going to try and get as many of, of those two currencies as you can, basically, because the more tickets and the more gems you have, the more everything else you can buy. You can buy cards, you can buy frames, you can buy dies, you can buy anything you like. So you want to try and get those currencies there. Uh, there's also a bunch of other features in the bot, just generally. Uh, so, for example, we have visits, KVI. I can visit characters that I've grabbed and uh, do various actions with them, talk to them, date them, all these other things. There's affection rating and affection points. Quibitos, that's a whole different story, and that is... Uh, there's, there's going to be a video on that in the description on the playlist. Um, there's also things like clans. Uh, you can join a clan and do stuff in your clan with power and with nodes. Um, speaking of nodes, there's also work. Uh, we, can, we can work our characters here in your job board and get bits, which is another currency which you can buy frames with. There's effort and effort values. As you can see, there's a lot more to the bot that I've talked about simply in this video but I wanted this to be a more introduction video and I think that those three features especially you don't really need them in order to start out on the bot if you're interested on how any works once again there's a playlist in the description that explains all of that stuff uh, but if you're just starting out on the bot and you just want to get going and grab some cards then you don't need to do any of that right now. Um, in fact, for the most part, you probably can't do any of that right now because you're going to need some uh, some currency or some good cards or something like that in order to really get started with that stuff. So if I were you, I would just ignore it for a little bit. Try and get yourself a nice collection. Try and get yourself some, some popular cards. Obviously, the popular ones are better. They're going to sell for more. They're going to be worth more currency. Try and get yourself some currency, of course, uh, because with the currency, you can get all your favorite characters. And I would very much recommend trading as much as possible because the chances that you actually manage to get one of the characters that you want in your drops is pretty low. Uh, you're probably going to want to be buying a lot of them. Uh, so selling the cards that you do get is uh, definitely the way to go. You're going to get some popular cards in there, whether they're the ones that you want or not is, well, who knows? Who knows? Uh, but if they're not, you can sell them to other players or you can trade them. Uh, so I would very much recommend doing that. You won't get too far without uh, engaging with other players. It's a very social bot, you could say. Uh, and its economy is pretty complex as well. So I'm sure there'll be a video on that as well. <laughs> there'll be videos on everything. Uh, but hopefully that is a reasonable introduction for you. You should kind of understand what's up with the bot now. I'm hoping so. Um, and if there is anything major that I missed, feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, and I can think about that. Uh, but yeah. I think that's pretty much everything, so I'm going to leave this video here. Bye!